Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a tag video for you guys. This tag was started by Irene from Be Fabulous With Me Irene. And I was tagged by two of my beautiful friends here on YouTube, Amy from Amy Wong's channel and Flo from Flo in the City. I will be linking all their information in the description box just in case you haven't already so you can go check out their videos as well. This tag is the luxury items that I regret buying. Um, I had a tough time, like I do most of the time on all these videos, but choosing items that I regret buying. Usually I think about when I'm going to make a big purchase like this, I usually think about it very, very much because I don't, you know, you're spending a lot of money and you want to make sure it's something that's going to fit your lifestyle, that's going to, that's your taste, that's going to fit your look. And I'm pretty careful or I try to be pretty careful when I purchase something, but it doesn't always work out that way. Um, sometimes, you know, especially with me, because I live in a, a small town where there are no luxury stores or any of that to where I can go in person and actually look at the item and touch it and feel it and see it in person and try it on. And I can't do that because they don't have these stores here. So unless I go to Phoenix, I go to Denver, I go to Dallas, which are probably the ones that are pretty much around me, but they're all like eight to 10 hours away. So it's not like I can just hop over there and go check them out in person. So it's very difficult for me because I see the item online. I see it on Instagram. I see it on YouTube and I fall in love with the piece, but I, you know, if I think about it, I purchase it and send it to my house. And if it's something I don't like, then most of the time I'll just send it back. And I have done that before. Um, it was a St. Laurent bag that I purchased from Yugi's Closet and I didn't like the hardware. Um, I do own St. Laurent bags and I lo I've always loved their chains. They're substantial, they're heavy, they're beautiful. And this one bag had uh, the hardware felt plasticky, felt hollow. It felt very cheap looking and I just didn't like it. I just didn't um, like that hardware and I ended up sending that bag back. And But I sent it immediately. I didn't hold on to it and then, you know, was stuck with it or whatever. I did send it back. So it was kind of hard for me, but I did choose two items. Um, I do not plan on sending, I mean, send, of course I can't send them back anymore, but I didn't send them back when I had the chance to, and I don't plan on selling them, at least not right now, but, uh, I did have to choose something in my collection, and these were probably the only two things that I could think of that I might regret have purchased, you know, have purchased, but... Although I don't want to sell them, I do have that little bit of regret of buying it because it just sits in my closet and I don't use it and, you know, or I don't use it as much and I feel like it's just money sitting there. You know what I mean? But anyway, that happens, you guys, and it is the first item that I chose in my collection is from Gucci and it is... The famous and most beautiful Gucci Marmont belt. I love this belt, you guys. The leather is absolutely gorgeous. I picked my right size, which was kind of one of the things that I wasn't sure if I was going to even uh, guess because, like I said, I can't try it on. So I didn't even know these European sizes, they're kind of tricky, and these fashion houses are different. So I, I didn't know what size and I think I ended up getting a 90 or something I don't even remember but it it fits it fits and it's it's a perfect size so I did guess my size right the only reason that I may regret buying this you guys is because I hardly wear it 
I think I may have worn this two or three times and I know that's terrible to say because I did buy this from Nordstrom and I did buy, uh, pay full price for this and I do kind of regret it because I just don't wear it. I don't wear it often and the main reason why I don't wear it often is because I don't tend to wear my shirts tucked in very much. I like a top like this one, you know, it's kind of, it's a little bit of a peplum and it's got like a, a little tie, it's got its own little tie belt right here, but it's rare that I'm going to wear a shirt or a top that's tucked in into my jeans or black pants or whatever and I can wear this. Of course, I can wear it over the top, but it, it's not the same and it's not the look I was after. The main reason why I bought this belt, you know, other than it was so popular, and it probably still is, um, was because you do know that I own the Peyton loafers, the Gucci Peyton loafers, which are the, they have the Marmot GGs on them. And I absolutely love my loafers. So I thought this would be perfect to wear with my shoes and you know, I don't, I don't have the Marmont bag and I'm still, I still want one. I still want one. Even though, you know, a lot of people say that bag is not, no longer as popular. I'm not the type of person that will buy a bag because it's popular, because it's in, because it's the thing, because it's new. I buy it because it fits my lifestyle. It goes with my look. It goes with my outfits. It goes with the way I like to dress and it just, you know, it's my style. And that Marmot bag is my style. And I'll tell you why too. I love this antique gold, you guys. This is my favorite type of gold in hardware. I love this. And if that bag, you know, has the chain and the GG, if it's in this color, I love it. And I don't know if I want the red or if I want the black, but I do want a Marmot bag. And it's either going to be in the, I like the small, I like the medium, and I love the large. So I might get a large. And I do love the black one and I love the red one. So I may still get that. But anyway, back to this belt. The only reason that I included it here was because I don't wear it as often. This is a $450 belt and it's $450 just sitting in my closet. And I do kind of regret that. But you know, like I said, I, if I sold it, it, I probably wouldn't get what I paid for. So I'll probably hold on to it and let it sit in my closet for at least a little longer. But anyway, this is the first item that I chose for my regrets. The second and last item that I purchased, I mean, that I'm going to include in this tag, is my beautiful Fendi um, peekaboo bag in the large size. I love this bag. Please don't get me wrong and think that I don't love it. I do love it. It's beautiful black leather. It's got the Zuka interior, which is my favorite. I love the Zuka interior. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bag, but it's very heavy, you guys. It's weighty. There's nothing in here, and it's very heavy. And if I, I did include it in one of my other um, regret videos, but I think that the only reason I regret buying this is because of its weight and its size. And because of its weight and size, I don't wear it as often as I'd like to. So I think that that's probably why um, if I had to, um, if I hadn't bought this and I was gonna do it all over again, I would either get the Fendi Peekaboo Light, the light version, or I would get this in a medium or in a small version because this is just so heavy. And I plan on rocking it this winter because I, I do love it, you guys. It's a beautiful bag. But if, if I could go back, 
I would buy either the light version, like I said, or the medium size or the small size, just because this is too big um, and it's, it's weighty. So that would probably be the only reason why. But it is beautiful. It's in gorgeous, um, gorgeous condition. There's no wear on it. But I would probably um, not get much for it. I don't know what the resale value on these bags are. But I didn't buy this um, retail or from the boutique. I did buy this from Yugi's Closet. And, um, but it's, it's an excellent condition. It still has all the stick plastic stickers intact here and here and all throughout right here. It's whoever had it didn't have it very long. The inside is immaculate. There is absolutely no stains or nothing on the inside. It's a beautiful, gorgeous bag. You guys, it's just a little weighty. So if I had to choose something, that's what I would choose. But anyways, thank you so much for uh, watching this. Thank you for tagging me, girls. And I will see you again on the next video. Have a great rest of your day.